Hi there, this is Penny Manus Diefendorf with your Daily Grain. So today let's look at the other side of the coin where people eschew the world. They do in fact go up on mountains and shut out the rest of the world. And that may not be entirely a result of complete consciousness. Because the reasons you choose or do not choose relationships are very critical. So if you are choosing to isolate yourself because of bitterness or disappointment or frustration or simply a lack of trust in your fellow man, that is probably not terribly good for your soul either. So when and if you say you don't need relationships, like you are a rock and an island, then be careful. Wonder to yourself why you say that. And if it is because you truly are secure within yourself, where you don't need anyone, where you're completely content with your own company, then that's a great benchmark to have attained. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you cannot or you will not associate with the rest of the world or go into company or maintain your friendships. Actually, there are some um, lines of thought, shall I say, uh, or some processes of religions that require people to eschew the world and to leave aside their previous friends to tread what is supposedly a higher path or certainly a different path. And in the light of what I've just said, you must really question if this is something that is asked of you. Is it in fact natural and does it in fact feel like a higher level of being or a higher process of thought, if you like? Because it shouldn't, and I use the word advisedly, it shouldn't be necessary to cut off everything you have been or can be to be complete. In fact, you integrate what feels true and you integrate what is natural. So be wary of ideas and ideologies around relationships and investigate always within yourself whether it feels true.